Hi. Hello, once again. Happy Saturday, October 31st. Happy Halloween, everybody. Today, as you know, is, of course, Halloween. It's the last day of the month. It's always on October 31st. So happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. So today we're going to be talking about whom to pray for. In 1 Timothy 2, verse 1. It says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Okay. So let no one ever say that he has nothing to pray about or that he doesn't know how to pray for, pray in God's will. For it is always in the will of God to pray for other people. This is a great gift that any Christian can give, even if he's penniless or bedridden. There's none so poor as to be unable to afford such a gift, nor can even the wealthiest give a finer gift. Wow. Well, thought I hadn't thought I had a hair sticking up. Sorry about that. So note just a few of the relevant commandments to believers. First, we are to pray for all fellow Christians. Ephesians 6.18 Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. We should also pray for the lost. And Jesus commanded in Luke 10 verse 2 The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Amen? So there's a special command to pray for sick, di sick disciples. Pray for one another that ye may be healed. James 5.16 We are even told to pray for our enemies. Luke 6.28 Bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. Okay. So we are told to pray for Christian brethren who sin a sin which is not unto death. 1 John 5.16 Though if the sin has already led to physical death, as in 1 Corinthians 11.30, there is no warrant for further prayer in that case. And finally, we are especially admonished to pray for kings and for all that are in authority. 1 Timothy 2.2 2. And for the ministries of those who pro proclaim the gospel Colossians 4, 2 and 4, which we'll be getting to later. Later on down in the study of Colossians, we'll be getting to that part. So in short, the words of today's, the verse I started out with, 1 Timothy 2, 1, we should offer up supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving for all people everywhere. And in 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen? Mm, like I'm a little, little drowsy a little bit. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I had a restless night, but um, but thank. Hope you enjoyed that. And that's it for the last day of October. Ooh, happy Halloween, everybody. So tomorrow's video for Sunday, November the 1st, we will be in the final, um, we're going to be in the final uh, video for the Word series videos that I've been doing. And we're going to be, this time it's finally we're going to be preaching the Word. So in all these, all the, the Word series the Word series videos. Each each video, the title, it's got something, the Word, by the Word, or something like that. But this one's going to be called Preaching the Word. And we're going to be, be starting with Acts 8-4. I know the, the last the last few videos that I did with that series, the last probably this is this will be video number 12 and the last one so the last let's say 11 11 10 9 8 7 I think most of the videos had all out of Psalm 119 
But this is the only one that will not be Psalm 119. So. So this is Acts 8 4, which this one's going to be for tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed it. Short and simple. Get it out of the way, and I can get it done. So I can turn around and get them, get them uploaded for the week, and they'll go live. May not be able to share them until Friday or Saturday onto my Facebook, but that'd be fine. So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And I love you and I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the, the little fresh background. Or maybe I'll be back to my old, old, old background next week for next week's video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.